welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a Python project which is entitled as students performance prediction in online courses using machine learning algorithms basically in this paper based on the students previous online test the students performance prediction is done using the machine learning algorithm so here they have classified the results as three pass fail and withdrawn so let us see the execution of the project So in case if you get such kind of screen first we wanted to clear the catchy so go to the options and just clear the history let it be today okay so once if you cleared it you can just refresh it so now you can see the exact uh, home screen of the project so this is the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title students performance prediction in online courses using machine learning algorithm so first let us log in So it is a static uh, login uh, credential with uh, username admin and password admin and click login and after login you can see the abstract that is mentioned in the base paper now click upload so once after the page is loaded you can just select the browse now go to the project folder and select the data set and once after selecting the data set click upload so now the data set is been uploaded and you can preview the data set so it has the fields like id code module code presentation gender region highest education IMD band age band number of previous attempts studied credit score and final result and you can just scroll down till end of the page so it's around 3147 let us set records and you can click click to train or test so once if the training is finished you can click ok now the system is ready to predict the performance of the student now let me show with the three sample cases as mentioned in the base paper pass fail and withdrawn you can check with any other cases also for for the scenario i'll be showing with the three cases so first uh, let me show with the first case that is uh, first model is triple a and semester first model 2014 j gender female region let me click southeast region 
and now here highest education a level or equivalent and imd band is around 20 to 30 percentage and age group is 0 to 35 and number of previous atom b1 studied credits 60 assessment score is 86 and second model is triple a and uh, semester second model is 2013 and with this values let me cre predict and you can see the result is pass so this is the first case and let me show with the other case triple a 2014 j gender male region east anglin region a level or equivalent and imd band is around 30 to 40 percentage age is 0 to 35 number of previous attempt is 1 studied credit is 120 assessment score is 51 and second model is triple a and 2013 j and click predict and now you can see the cases fail now let me show the third scenario triple a 2013 j female and region is west midlands region and qualification is he he qualification and imd band is 70 to 80 percentage age group is 0 to 35 number of previous attempt is 0 and studied credits is 60 assessment score is 75 second model is triple a and second semester model is 2013 j and let me click predictor and now you can see the cases withdrawn so for example i have shown with these three cases you can check with the other cases from the data set that we have uh, given and the last part is like static graphical analysis part here the static graph mentions about the gender part of the data set which is around uh, female is 54.5 percentage and male is around 45.5 percentage and student performance based on the gender you can see that is withdrawn female is 21k and male is 23.3 and uh, fail cases female 24k and male is 4.5 and uh, pass case for the female is 30k and pass case for the male is 14.3 And this is the conclusion and future work of the project as mentioned in the base paper. And this is all about the project students performance prediction in online course using machine learning algorithms. And thank you for watching.